Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Hello friends, I am failing as your vlogger of the month because it is 4.30 and I am just home and I am just picking up my camera. But that is how it is going to have to be today. Uh, I am so on the struggle bus because all I want to do is just hang out with these doggies. You're my old man and I love you. I love you, Bubby. I love you. Where's my old man? Look at that face. Come here. Show everyone how handsome you are. Hey. Show everyone how handsome you are. Yes. 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 See, for 15 years old, I still got it. I literally just want to curl up on the couch because I've missed them so much. Well, we I feel like I've had two weeks where I've really been away from them and I just miss them so much. They truly do become your kids, right, Baba? Even though he can't hear me. Baba. So you heard me. So you heard me. You on the other hand. Who do you think you are? Mabel. How could you not just want to cuddle them? Who's a good girl? She's sleepy. They both just ate dinner. Steven is bringing home a pizza because I didn't grocery shop since we got back late yesterday. And we have no food to eat in the house. So he's like, I'll just grab a pizza. So he's grabbing a pizza, but why don't we go open advent calendars? This started on the 14th and a couple of you have reached out. I just don't have it in me to open it. We might save it for next year, who knows? All right. Day 19. Yes, Mabel, it's day 19. They are as excited. Oh, good God. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. It's a tow truck. We got skin Iceland solution for stressed skin. How about a stressed soul? I need a solution for a stressed out soul and all the things, not just my skin. My skin's the least stressful thing going on. Um, day 19. Oh wait, I almost forgot to sing. Pour some sugar on me. What did we get? <gasps> the gummy ice cream cones. These are so, so good. Oh my. My lamp is possessed, it's going off and on. Hey girl, hey! What you doing? Oh, he's a coot girl. Oh, he's a coot girl, yes who is. All right. Oh, the spirits are not on my side. I was hoping 19 would just be like right here. Philos, Philoskos, Philoskos, perfume? I really do love having their perfumes on hand to travel with, and it's a way to like mix up a luxury scent without having to travel with a large bottle. I have gone through every single one I've ever gotten in an advent calendar. So, extremely, extremely useful. Day 19, Sex Fifth Avenue. We got a Sturm lip balm. This is really good stuff. That's also like a very nice size to have on hand. So not mad at that. All right, could we all just accept the fact that every day I'm gonna say I need to move this, but I have zero intentions of actually ever moving it. 
I think we've accepted that this is its place and I will just make it work. We got a little station. I'm gonna put the station right here. There is no rhyme or reason to how I have set up this village, and it is not conducive to travel. Just so you know, if you were to take this railroad, you are going no- well, clearly you're going nowhere except to figure eight. But, I mean, I have the guards in the wrong way. <laughs> like, what is that even trying to direct? I, I have a water tower dumping the water onto the trail. Like, if you go the Christopher Allen railroad system, you are going nowhere. Fast. So, I apologize, and also have fully accepted that this is the location of this advent calendar. I've insisted every day of moving it. It's not happening. I can hardly move myself, let alone move that advent calendar. But, it is now time for Dolly. Many of you have asked why I keep Dolly in the pantry, to which I have no good explanation except last year I kept Dolly in the pantry and I kept Sugarfina in the alcove, and this year Sugarfina didn't fit there, but I still kept Dolly in the pantry. All right, what is our Dolly song of the day? I haven't really thought of this. Dolly song of the day. I want it to be one that maybe not everyone will know. I think it's easy to go with the easy ones. Clearly, that's why they're the easy ones. All right, I got it. And one that maybe you don't know. Um, I want to tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widowed wife who had a teenage daughter who attended Harper Valley Junior High. Well, her daughter came home one afternoon and didn't even stop to play. She said, Mom, I got a note here from the Harper Valley PTA. So that's Harper Valley PTA. Oh, it's super old. I think maybe off of her second or third album. I'm sorry, I don't have my best singing voice because I'm so stuffed up. But day 19, Dolly, we're not going to open day 23. We're going to open 19, and it is two hard candies. Hard candy Christmas. Dolly, thank you for all the inspiration over the years and being an icon. Not only have I realized that that advent calendar is <laughs> never leaving, I've also realized I was not meant to have a rosemary tree this year. This is the one that I bought at the Whole Foods in Philadelphia. No, South Hills, New Jersey. And I brought it back with me and <laughs> it is dead. Um, I mean, there is some life left to it, but it has not gone well. And we are good with plants, but this one, not so much. My mom is also so cute. I've tried, friends, to convince my mom that they should come here for Christmas. It's just not going to be doable. But my adorable mom already sent Stephen and I our Christmas cards for Christmas Day. So Stephen and I will save those for Christmas morning to open. Tomorrow after work, I have a nail appointment because it is time to get my nails redone. Um, what's interesting is some people have asked or have noticed, and I saw it in a comment yesterday, and it really, like, hit me. And they were like, we have watched you from the beginning of your channel and have just, like, watched you evolve so much. Um, from what I have shared, I used to share a lot of luxury purchases and luxury goods. Um, not to say that those purchases do not happen. Anyone who knows me well knows that they still happen. And they were like, and then you've started like the nail art. We've watched, like, they've just like noticed like an evolution um, of like who I am or what I have become or am becoming because I believe that we're always evolving. And they asked like, what do I think like contributes to that? Um, and my openness to share more about my vulnerabilities and insecurities and all of those pieces. Um, and I would say that they're 100% right. There has been a development um, in me. The nail art started the um, probably four to five months after 
my health scare in May of 2021. For those who don't know, I had um, not been feeling well for a couple weeks and was working out and getting winded and just feeling awful. And I ended up having double pulmonary embolisms, a DVT in my leg. The doctors were actually very concerned that I, and surprised that I didn't have it take my life. I was in the hospital for several days. Um, I was out of work for almost a month, a month and a half. I would say that it took me to realize that this life is short and I have one life to live and why wouldn't I do the things that like bring me joy? So like I was always super envious of Harry Styles um, and his nails and how authentic he was to himself and I was like, I've always wanted to do it so why not give it a try? So I started with just like black graphic art and then I kept like pushing myself and now it's been two years and Stephanie and I have become really good friends. It is time that I enjoy and I think like I really have decided that do I want to spend my life not doing the things that like bring me joy or excite me or all of those pieces and I feel like I've been less worried about the judgment of others. I struggle enough, I think, with the judgment of myself. I care far less about the judgment of others because I am harder on me than anyone else will be. I also think turning 40 last February has made me feel very differently. Once again, this idea of you have one life to live, you're getting older, you know who you are, you know what you've accomplished, and like, Although that imposter syndrome sinks in, I think I can intellectually step back and be like, you know what, I'm in a different place in my life than some of the people I worry about and how they feel about me and that I just need to be myself. And I think about as I lead teams, I want them to show up as their authentic selves and be fully who they are. And I want us to celebrate that and how dare I want that for others but not want that for me. Many of us go through life worrying about pleasing others and accommodating others but we don't think about pleasing ourselves and accommodating ourselves and yes we want people to show up as who they are but we don't allow ourselves to do it and I think I've gotten to a point now where I want to show up as myself too and I want that to be accepted and if you don't accept it that's okay. So I think that's where you have seen some of these like things evolve for me. And I think as I continue to work on myself in January, I have some big plans for myself of um, where I wanna go, what I wanna accomplish professionally, personally, physically and mentally for myself. And I really wanna take you guys on that journey. And it's like a commitment that I really want us to see, not us, not us some, a commitment that I really wanna see through of bringing you along on it because I still have so much to learn about myself and so much more to figure out about myself that is my authentic self. I think in our 20s and 30s, we think we know who our authentic selves are and that's what we portray, but I really honestly think that that authentic self in your 20s and 30s is the one that you have um, thought that you've needed to present or society has put pressure on you to that is who you have to present and i think there was something about turning 40 that i was like no this is my authentic self i'm going to stop showing up in spaces based off of what i thought other people wanted because i did that all through my 20s and 30s and now i'm like no this is who i am this is how i'm showing up and like like it and accept it or leave it and leave me alone and i feel like that is the glorious piece that comes with age. My grandmother always told me that the older you get, the less you will care about others. And I am finding that to be very true because my grandmother towards the end, she would always tell me like, <laughs> she would use colorful language. Um, the most Christian loving woman on the planet. My mom will laugh at me telling you the story, used a very colorful language. So I will edit it, what she would say, but essentially she would say like, you don't need to care. And as you get older, you will not care what other people think about you. And I have found that to be really true because I think you start to see your true self as you get older and know that that is authentic and part of you and you care less about the opinions of others. I feel like this year I've gone through caring a lot less of people like me. 
If you don't like me, that's fine. You don't have to engage with me. You don't have to like me. You have to still treat me with respect and kindness because I will do the same for you, but you do not need to like everyone. And I feel if you are always being liked by everyone, you're probably doing something wrong and you're probably holding yourself back in some way. But yeah, I think that is where you have seen me grow up a lot. And as far as sharing like the luxury items, I knew that I wanted to create a space on this internet thing that made people feel welcomed and included and I never wanted someone to walk away from the channel feeling like less than because they couldn't buy something or didn't have something and yes I will always share products it's part of what this is and I love sharing things that I have found that I love that I know some of you will love but I find that like only talking about like luxury and pieces and stuff like that just didn't feel authentic to who I am as a person. So I will always buy them, but you will see me. I can't even really tell you the last time I've discussed it, except like in a questionnaire when someone's like, what are the most recent luxury purchases you've made? I just, I don't know. I have felt less of a need to show. And if anything, the last two years, I've probably bought more than usual. I don't know. I have, I think that's also a sign of growing up and maturing that I don't have to share those things to validate and also if that's the only reason you would ever watch my channel you would be missing the purpose for it in the first place because that's not what it's about it is truly about like holding space for us to be ourselves building connections I love some of you like my closest friends um, because that's what you've become for someone who struggles to be social uh, this has been one of the safest places for me to be the most social. And you guys allow me to be creative and you guys have allowed me over the last two years, I think, to really start showing up as myself and to really paint a really honest picture. I battle with my mental health. I battle with my physical health and the way I view my body and the way I see myself. I battle with imposter syndrome and anxiety. Like, I don't want to have a curated page of like everything being perfect. I have really tough days, really tough days. But you know what? I'm going to keep showing up and I'm going to try to be a little bit better than I was each day, knowing that some days that won't be possible, but I can have more days where I try to improve than days that I am stagnant. And there's space for all of those feelings, but ultimately I have many things that I want to accomplish with this channel and in my life. And I want you guys there along with me. Once again, I want to be super respectful to Steven because I know he has had a long day. I know I have had a long day. These doggies have had a long day and I want us to have time as a family. So I'm going to end it again and give Steven a break tonight so that he doesn't have to like tiptoe around filming or feel like he has to be on because he has had a long day with lots of travel as well and I always want to re be respectful for him because he had, didn't necessarily sign up for this although he has definitely like enjoyed it more but tomorrow I'm sure he'll be on board with us but I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind my friends. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Day 20 of Vlogmas. Bye bye.